Hello everybody, I think that many people have tried this kind of ice cream Snickers. Today we will cook it, only a giant size. But first, let's study the original, therefore we open it up. From the outside it looks just like a chocolate bar. Let's look inside. So the first layer is milk chocolate, then a layer of peanuts with caramel, and the last layer is ice cream with cocoa and peanut butter. Let's taste it. Yeah, this is an awesome combination, you guys. Let's start cooking the ice cream. Milk powder is often used in factories, so we're gonna do the same. We collect it, measure out the right amount on the scales. We need three and a half kilograms. Pour the powdered milk into the first basin, and another three and a half kilograms into the second. Here's also a little bit of cocoa, so that the color of the ice cream is as in the original. You'll also need some sugar. It also needs to be measured out on the scales. You should get four and a half kilograms. Pour it all into the first basin. Then measure out the same amount of sugar. And pour into the second. But now you will need a lot of water, 70 liters. To make it easier to mix, first pour half of the water out. And just combine the dry powders with water with a stick until you get kind of a cold cocoa. And repeat the same with the second basin. When everything is stirred really well, pour in the remaining water. In order to increase the fat content of the mixture, add some 33% cream. Now we need some xanthan and gore gum. They will make the mixture much thicker to get a good ice cream. We measure out 115 grams of each powder. Mix them together, and gradually pour into the mixture. At the same time, mix with the mixer. These powders need to be mixed very carefully so that there are no lumps. And if everything is done correctly, the mass begins to thicken. The first batch is ready. Let's move on to the second. We'll pour in the xanthan and guar gum. Twenty minutes of stirring and our mass has become thick. It's time to put the ice cream in the freezer. We'll leave them here for the whole day. On the third day, we will need a lot of peanuts. Here is 50 kilograms. Our peanuts are peeled, but raw. So we'll fry them up. We pour almost a full cauldron. And turn on the gas. Now it needs to be constantly stirred so that the peanuts are fried evenly.
After 30 minutes of roasting, it begins to smell really tasty. Like some beans, there's a lot of this here. Therefore, the first batch of peanuts is definitely ready. Pour it into a saucepan. Done. And now we'll fill the cauldron with the next batch of raw peanuts and fry them too. So that way we do all 50 kilograms. The composition of the ice cream includes peanut butter. Therefore, we put the fried peanuts into a melanger. The stone millstones gradually grind the peanuts and because of the oil release, the mass becomes moist. So we add more. The melanger will grind the peanuts for two hours, after which the peanut butter is obtained. And to make it sweet, add some corn syrup. And pour the perfectly smooth peanut butter into a bowl. In total, we made three batches. Now our bowl is completely filled. We go to our ice cream, and we see that for the whole day, it has barely even set. Pour half of the peanut butter into each basin. and mix it into the ice cream with a large mixer. By the way, this will also interfere with the air bubbles so that the ice cream will turn out way more lush. Now we'll leave it to freeze. Meanwhile, we prepare a mold for the giant Snickers ice cream bar. The inner walls are lubed with oil and immediately smeared. Now our parchment sheet will perfectly stick to the walls and the number of folds will be minimal. Smooth out the parchment, lift up the wall, and fix the parchment with tape. Our first wall is ready. Do the same thing to the rest of the walls. We put some plywood in a food film and also install the walls and close the mold. Done. It's time to melt the first batch of milk chocolate, meaning 10 kilograms. Stir periodically so that the chocolate melts evenly. And an hour later, everything's ready. We remove the gastro capacity and pour all the chocolate on the bottom of the mold. Don't forget to scrape the remains from the walls. There's at least one kilogram of chocolate there. and spread the chocolate on the bottom of the white spatula. The next day, our chocolate is set and our ice cream has two. So you need to mix it one last time to still mix up the air bubbles for Splendor.
done. While the form is still empty and light, we transfer to the freezer. We scoop up the ice cream and transfer it into the mold. Carefully level out the ice cream layer and close the freezer. For the caramel, pour eight liters of milk into a saucepan in advance and put it on the stove to heat up at a low heat. Now you need to squeeze out seven and a half kilograms of corn syrup into a large saucepan. We set the pan on the burner and put 30 kilograms of sugar on to sleep. Pour four liters of water on top and mix so that all the sugar gets wet. Done. You can turn on the burner and cover the pan. Use a lid for this, so it can heat up faster. When the caramel boils, we remove the lid and install a thermometer. Cook the caramel to 144 degrees. Now, you will need a lot of butter. So open them up. This block is five kilograms and we need 4,200. Therefore, we cut off the excess and cut the rest into large cubes. And throw it into the caramel. Now this oil needs to be mixed with caramel. Now you just need to pour in eight liters of hot milk. and mix that with the caramel as well. At this point, the caramel's ready. Pour half of it into another saucepan. And cover all the roasted peanuts. Mix all this with a stick until the caramel envelops the peanuts. Done. We go to the freezer. and just put this mass into the mold with our hands.
we emptied out the first pan, so we bring in the second one and continue to fill in the mold with caramel. Carefully level up the caramel. And leave it to finally freeze overnight. The next day we're gonna take out our mold. And we open it up. We don't need the wooden walls anymore, so we remove them. And close the mold again. Pour some milk chocolate into the Marmite. and melt it. But this time we need a lot more fluid chocolate. Therefore, pour a glass of oil and mix. Now the chocolate is how you need it. Pour this in. First of all, fill the cavities that appeared after we removed the wooden walls. melt another portion of chocolate and pour it right on top. Smear this all over the surface. and wait for solidification so it can be opened. This giant Snickers ice cream is ready. In fact, it's one of the heaviest bars we've ever made. Its weight is as much as 200 kilograms and it took five days to prepare it. Let's cut it open and look inside. turned out really similar to the original. I tried everything together, caramel, nuts, ice cream, and chocolate, and I can say that it tastes very close to the original. Of course, we didn't eat this huge ice cream ourselves, so we gave it to the mother and children's home. The children loved it so much. If you put a lot of likes under this video, then we will definitely cook something else that is very big. And subscribe to the channel, you guys. Bye, everybody.